Hello guys, what is up? Tower Artist Movie here with another Super Ice Bucket Exciting. Challenge! Look! A message from a friend to challenge you. Dewantara Anugrah Putra. Yoi. Lu kudu bikin satu video ini. Sip. Oke. Okay. Saya, Eno dari Clean Sound Studio, menantang kembali. Satu. Dewantara Putra. Dewantara ya? Dewantara. Dewantara Putra alias Tara Arts Goofy. Si gendut itu. But what the hell is not? I don't have a time for this. This is for a charity. Challenge for a charity. This I, is good. I get it. It's for a charity, but I just don't want to... Uh, mm, it's my last loss. <laughs> I don't want to... Then let's do it naked. Wet. Let's do it naked. For a charity. Wait, wait. Let's do it naked. Naked, naked, nope. naked. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. Whoa, whoa, I guess wait, so. Wait. Why? This is for a charity. Um, I just can't imagine uh, my nipples, you know, being famous on it. On the interweb, so I guess that was the reason. Anyway, so well, um, let me make this clear: is this gonna be you, the one who do the ice bucket challenge, or your goddamn phone? No, no, not my. Well, phone. it's your turn to choose. Your phone or you? It's not waterproof. Not like your uh, Z2 Xperia Z2. Where, where's well, your phone? <laughs> I gotta say, this no. is your your phone. No, 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 no. no, no I Give said it. it is your phone or you. Hey, hey I gotta follow. <laughs> Bucket of water right. here. I got right. a full of water. Whatever. All right, come on, man. Come on. Look, look, look at the time. We have to shoot this. Today. Yes. Look, but look, your phone. Look. Yahoo. Yahoo. Is it gonna be? Look. 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 You see? This is your your phone. Take a pic. Take a pic. Ice bucket challenge. Oh, it's almost full. Well. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready? And here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Sé que puedo volar Sé que el cielo voy a tocar Si abro mis alas la voz It's for charity. Right? Alright. <laughs> Dion Widi Putra, you're next. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to be talking about rotoscoping. So let's just get into the tutorial. Woo! Next time I'm gonna do you. Nope. Still recorded? No. Nope. Actually, yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, <laughs> what is up, Tara Artist Movie here with another super, super exciting tutorial and today I am gonna be teaching you how to do the rotoscoping effects inside After Effects. What you can do with rotoscoping effects? Well, you can do this, look at this, this is my, this is a clip from my previous uh, uh, short film, whatever, <laughs> called uh, Weapon Hand Origins and as you can see here, I uh, to do this you have to use a rotoscoping technique so yep how basically it done well I will show you how using After Effects alright so uh, we gonna uh, we're gonna do it with a very very simple uh, clip right now so oh I already I already got it here hey <laughs> so uh, click and drag your clip into the big area here or to here to create a new composition. Look at that smile! <laughs> anyway, um, ooh, <laughs> look at the face. And then we're just gonna take a short clip. So from here, for example, to here. So, yep, there you go. And then right click, trim, come to work area. And then we're gonna ramp preview this. So it's a very very short clip now. Now what is rotoscoping? So for example, if you want to uh, place, for example, like my clip here, a fire between the foreground, which is uh, our two actors here, and uh, which is the yeah between the foreground and the background, which is the background of course, 
Uh, if you want to put this fire between the foreground and the background, of course, the idea is you have to copy this video layer, and of course the original video, which is I already deleted. I'm so sorry, I can I cannot show you, but uh, the original video would be of course no fire. <laughs> and to put it, of course, the idea is you have to um, put it in After Effects. You're gonna duplicate the layer, and then for the du duplicated layer, you have to mask right you have to mask uh, only for the foreground which is our actors and then you're gonna put the fire between the background and the foreground masked layer that's the idea i hope you understand if you still don't understand don't worry you will understand it later so let's just get started so rotoscoping is actually back in the day before after effects cs5 because in after effects cs5 they introduced the roto brush but i'm gonna be showing you the uh how well I sometimes I still do it though the old uh, way to do the rotoscope which is using a mask tool or pan tool it would be the same <laughs> so pan tool it, it, it's called pan I don't know why but uh, it actually like a scissor it cuts through everything so using this uh, pan tool wait wait a minute I'm gonna uh, yep yeah so make sure you click the layer and then using pen tool we gonna create a mask of our foreground which is the actor which is this guy right here boom 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 dum, 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 dum. wait a minute i'm gonna change the color of the mask double click here maybe a bright orange should be nice Woo! maybe yellow wait the, f the, the default one is yellow guys but uh yep and uh not let's make it red actually so you can see it there you go so you gotta be pretty pretty neat well for but for this tutorial of course it's gonna make it fast it doesn't have to be so neat and by the way for the uh, for the um, hair as you can see here of course you're gonna have something not so realistic but this is a freaking hair look, and look at his hair look his hair is woo <laughs> like that and it's kind of hard to use the masking tool is uh but, but back in the day before after effects yes 5 can you imagine that it is the only way to rotoscope your um footage and as you can see here it's a very very eye killer effect i mean your eyes you know you're gonna feel a a little bit pain between your eye there on your <laughs> forehead when you do this effect you know so I forgot to duplicate by the way so you duplicate it and rename the top layer which is gonna be roto and for this one I'm just gonna delete the mask so this is for our background and this is the foreground without the background it will look like this but it is a video it is not a picture so the video one thing about video it's moving so if we scrub through here as you can oh we gotta ramp through this of course the video is moving but the mask is not now this is what painful about the old ways of rotoscoping you can go to mask path you you click you click on the uh stopwatch here to create a keyframe and then move one frame and then move oh, we're gonna change it to selection tool first and then we're gonna move one one point to another point every single frame how painful is that yep this is the old ways to do it there you go blah 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 and then some artists probably just go several frames if the uh, you know the subject is not moving that much and then you can start do it like so and make sure it's still there it's because my character is is uh, you know doesn't move that much but if your characters is too much moving it's gonna be pain in the a you know what I'm saying so it's back in the day it should be like this so as you see here we got to woo one by one all right but Today, I want to be telling you, I'm going to be telling you the easiest way if you are using After Effects CS5. You know what? 
I suggest you using the new After Effects, which is After Effects CC for now, because uh, yeah, it's improved, and they also added some Revine Edge tool. What is it? Well, I'm gonna be teaching you also. So first of all, we're gonna go to Roto Brush, and for the duplicated layer, which is the Roto layer, you're gonna click it, and then we're gonna double click. Boom! Opens up this uh, new. Uh, um, preview whatever that is <laughs> and as you can see here this green thingy is actually your roto brush tool so to make it uh, bigger the brush you know just like in Photoshop uh, you're gonna you're gonna hold down control and your left mouse click hold down control and your left mouse click and drag it up to make it bigger and drag it down to make it smaller and uh, uh, the green color means for the foreground so if you hold down alt on your keyboard uh, it's gonna turn red which is for the foreground uh, for the background I'm sorry <laughs> so green foreground red background so for the green here we're gonna tell After Effects that this is our foreground which is our actor here so there you go blah 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 this is our foreground but as you can see here, of course, After Effects is guessing, and as you can see here, uh, it's not perfect. So we're gonna tell After Effects that hey, it is not our foreground; it is our background. So hold Alt and tell After Effects that hey, it is our background. Boom! And then we're gonna make it even more neater. Holy crap! <laughs> like so. Boom! 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 And boom! And a little bit here. Boom! Woo! There you go. Just for example here, it's not gonna be pretty neat, but uh, of course for you, you're gonna do it uh, very carefully. There you go. It's a little bit jagged here, so I'm gonna do that. And now for the um, hair, uh, before After Effects CC. Uh, it's kind of hard, but uh, with After Effects CC now, especially CC 2014, you got this Revine Edge tool if you click that. And by the way, just like in Photoshop, Revine Edge in Photoshop, just do this to the uh, to the foreground here, and you're gonna see the incredible thing. Now watch, go to composition here, and look at the hair. Look how in the world <laughs> look at this look at the hair it's just like using green screen here it's not even a green screen Ooh, look at this i missed that spot so guys that's the magic of roto brush uh, you can but probably already can see how it really gonna helps you out with this roto scoping thingy so now the the, the uh by the way this is looks a little bit jagged here so to to actually ooh, make it you know what the hell it's gone here but when I zoom in it's, it's there <laughs> oh it's actually there let me fix this a little bit there now um, it's a little, uh, to fix the jagged area all you're gonna do is go to the left here which is the roto brush um, settings and reduce chatter so as you can see here it start to be a little bit more softer and also shift edge but what is it oh it's actually make it no 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 not, not shift edge i'm sorry no, 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 control z uh the feather actually feather up a little bit you know to make it even smoother and not too much and there you go we got a very very beautiful roto <laughs> there you go now back to the roto uh, preview here um, we are not done so actually it's uh, it's from this um, um, current time so as you can see here this is represent lo your your layer here so this is your, your layer and yeah I happen to be uh, met uh, you know at this time I'm probably click it at this time I'm sorry it should be in, in the beginning but anyway uh, what I'm gonna be telling you is uh, down here below this your layer 
is something called the rotoscopic layer. So this is for uh, how much the effects will apply, how far the, flag, uh, the effects will apply to your layer. So if you want uh, the rotoscoping to be applied to all of your layer, you should just move it until the end of your layer and at the beginning is also in the beginning of the layer. Now, if you press space, After Effects will start to guessing and do the job by itself. And as you can see, we're almost done and we're done. As you can see here, boom, rotoscoping in a matter of second. Boom, this is our background. You cannot see anything, but for example, if for the background, we're gonna add some effect, color correction, and uh, black and white. Boom! <laughs> Only your foreground, which is your actor, is in color. Maybe I'm gonna punch the color too. Go to color correction and hue and saturation and punch up the saturation. Boom! Probably you, uh, probably you've seen this kind of you know movie or uh, um, uh, advertising that looks like this, you know. Or maybe we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna have this here and this one. We're gonna move it here. <laughs> there you go. Like that movie, you know, Night in the mu Museum, where you have this character in black and white. Well, that is using rotoscoping technique. And as you can see here, very easy. And by the way, look at the, look at the. I still amazed myself by the, you know, this Revine Edge tool. Oh my God, this rendering. Um, the, you know, the hair. I mean, oh my god, it's too much, it's too long to render. But anyway, <laughs> the hair, look at the hair. God, it's crazy. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, me myself, just just try this actually, just try it, you know. You know, I just tried today for the Refine Edge tool, never used it before. And look at, look at the hair. God, it's, it's the perfect rotoscoping and it's very easy and very quick, very fast compared to the old fashioned way. Alright guys, so I hope you find this useful, This uh, it's actually pretty simple, you know, effect, the effect is simple, but it's, like I said before, it was an eye killer, but today, it's not so eye killer, in fact, I love it, <laughs> after, uh, especially after I realized how crazy it is for the Divine Edge tool to actually, you know, look at the hair, look, oh my god, this is incredible, so, <laughs> so let's say, you wanna put some, uh, effect between uh, foreground and the background like this clip for example where where I, where I have you know some explosion well I don't have the explosion here or less so let's just create a new solid you know and make it lips and if we put it between the foreground and background boom so that's basically how you put something between background and the foreground and there you go <laughs> alright guys so um, thank you so much for watching this tutorial by the way if you want to see the tutorial how to track so basically to put the fire it's like actually there you have to track the video first which is I already made a tracking tutorial using After Effects 3D tracker in my channel so check it out and yeah there you go I hope you find this tutorial useful guys as always and thank you for watching subscribing liking and sharing this video and see you in the next videos and tutorials ciao